Salesforce Certificate PD2 Dumps. 36. A developer is asked to develop a new App Exchange application. A feature of the program creates survey records when a case reaches a certain stage and is of a certain record type. This feature needs to be configuration different Salesforce instances require surveys at different times. Additionally, the out-of-the-box App Exchange app needs to come with a set of best practice settings that apply to most customers. What should the developer use to store and package the custom configuration settings for the app? A custom metadata B custom objects C custom labels D custom settings Answer A custom metadata Thirty seven. The contact object in an org is configured with workflow rules that trigger field updates. The fields are not updating, even though the end user expects them to. The developer creates a debug log to troubleshoot the problem. What should the developer specify in the debug log to see the values of the workflow runs conditions and debug the problem? A error level for the database log category. B info level for the workflow log category. C info level for the database log category. D error level for the workflow log category. Answer B info level for the workflow log category. 38. Which two scenarios require an Apex method to be called imperatively from a Lightning Web component? Choose two answers A calling a method that makes a web service callout B calling a method that is not annotated with cacheable true C calling a method with the click of a button D calling a method that is external to my controller for the Lightning Web component. Answers B calling a method that is not annotated with cacheable true C calling a method with the click of a button. Thirty-nine. A developer is asked to find a way to store secret data with an ability to specify which profiles and users can access which secrets. What should be used to store this data? A system.cookie class. B static resources. C custom settings. D custom metadata. Answer C custom settings. 40. Which use case can be performed only by using asynchronous Apex? A. Updating a record after the completion of an insert. B. Scheduling a batch process to complete in the future. C. Processing high volumes of records. D. Calling a web service from an Apex trigger. Answer D. Calling a web service from an Apex trigger. For more information visit this site www.salesforcestart.com.